Hello and thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech. This is a channel where we explore new ideas, new trends in technology in the areas of artificial intelligence, machine learning, Python programming and so on. Today we are going to look at Python libraries which are interesting, useful and at times fun. So let's get started. The first library that we are going to look at is called Piperclip and this allows us to have copy and paste functionality. So as you are well aware, if you've been watching my, uh, following my channel, I do use Jupyter Notebook uh, for such tutorials because it makes it very easy and uh, also for the viewer to follow and um, it's interactive as well. So I already have my Jupyter Notebook open and I'm going to uh, start entering those commands. So the the first one the so first way to get started is i'm importing um, i've already installed it using pip and i've shown that in previous um, uh, video tutorials so let's get started let's run this and let's um, do like a like an example here so i'm going to do use piper club and do like a copy so i'm going to say Hello viewers, I'm going to run that. So that's going to create a copy and then I can do. So very nice way to do a copy paste uh, within Python. And when I run this, I should get that same uh, result that we copied. And let me just modify that a bit and see how. I obviously have to run it again so I run that and when I run the next one the paste then that should paste the new value that was in the clipboard okay so that was you know short but uh, an interesting library to know about the next one I'm going to do is uh, emoticons or emoji uh, I've already installed it using the following command which is pip install emoji uh, once you've done that what you need to do is import from emoji and this is the command syntax so from emoji import emojis let's run that next I'm going to show you some examples so let me run this example so I this is the actual so thumbs up and when I run this I get a thumbs up now uh, if you notice I'm using use underscore aliases equals true which means that if it's something similar to the one uh, that I'm showing here like thumbs up let me remove the underscore uh, since aliases is enabled or it's true it will still interpret that and print it as a thumbs up so let's read on that and you see that it was able to take that if I remove the aliases that's probably not gonna work and it's gonna throw an error message uh, let's try another one so you can do a whole lot of things so this one will give us a dolphin and so on I have many other uh, you, you can copy them from here uh, you can reference this cheat sheet where there are a large number of uh, emojis you can display around for fun so let me do another one one that we all are familiar with and love which is coffee so you get a coffee so again uh, very useful um, you can insert emojis in your code if you uh, do need to and very simple syntax now let's uh, try another one which is another very well known service which is called Wikipedia let me just remove this so I've already installed using pip install Wikipedia I'm just going to in import it here and now I'm going to look for some some word or some expression so here I'm using 
Uh, this is syntax, so Wikipedia dot page. I'm looking for Python programming language, and the result, uh, the results should be in this variable called result. So let me run that, and I just need to now print it so that it shows up. No summary. I'm gonna run that. You see that it shows uh, the actual Python programming language as seen by Wikipedia. Uh, we can also do something else. Let me give you another example. Let me run that and run the print result. So, you know, you can in input any uh, any word any expression any term that you're looking for and it will actually search on Wikipedia and display the results so again very very useful to have the next one I'm going to look at is uh, a set of utilities to query um, websites and get information so the module is called URL lib and the way to install it is pip install URL lib let me just enter it here. I've already installed it, so I would not need to do that. So this is the command to install it. URL lib is the library name. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a URL open from this module, which will allow us to access any website and get in, in information on that. So let's let me run that. And let me run a page that I want to be open. So I'm going to go to my website, infoverse.ca, and let's run that. So the results should be in, in the variable called page. And I can then print out the page information by doing page.headers. Let's see the output. So it prints out by accessing the website and displaying the result. So you can also do like, um, uh, you can do more detail about the, or, or see the coding of the website and um, it's the read function. So the way to do that is to use this command. Let me show that. So that's content equals, or you can say turn, let me call it website coding and it's page dot read let's run that and then we can say print and we want to see this website coding let's run that so you see it's it's a, a lot of information but this is the actual uh, it's it's contacted the website it's getting all the coding how the website's been coded so very a lot of detailed information but it's it's giving you absolutely everything about that website which is infoverse.ca which we accessed earlier now let's look at uh, another interesting um, python library and this one is actually called disassemble so you can actually disassemble a Python code and get more details about it. So let me just write a quick small uh, function just to display this. So calling it test, let's say number, and we are returning that number multiplied by let's say some some number like five. Let's run that. Okay, my bad. I should have this is, this is a function, so I should have a colon there. Let me run that again. That runs okay. Now I want to do disassemble. So I should do this and test. 
and I believe before this I should be doing an import this so let's run those two and you can see that I had to import this which is short for disassemble and then I do this dot this test and test is the the actual uh, function that we defined earlier so the way to read this is this this two uh, basically indicates um, it's that's a line number and the zero two four they always increment in twos because that's the, uh, the it's a two byte uh, Python code and the and actually that's the byte code address so load global is at zero then load constant is at two four and so on the next one this one is uh, the argument and then this this is actually the human readable for for us to understand that it's a number now when we look at the next one which is loading constant so it's constant is one parameter and it's actually five that we're reading and then because uh, this function is doing a number into five multiplying it by five you see that it's interpreted that correctly as it's a binary multiply and then the last command is an actual return value now let's see what happens if I switch this to let's say like a plus and rerun this then I rerun I don't need the, to import this time so let me just rerun disassemble this piece of the code and you can see nothing else changed except that now it's right correctly interpreting that as a binary add uh, when before it was a multiply so again a very simple example but it just shows the power of disassemble to break down your Python code into a lot of detail and actually uh, if you do want to go into detail uh, these are I believe there are about seven columns so this is first column and then there are a couple of more then another column here so these are all represented by the columns uh, you see the load underscore global and load underscore constant these are the actual instruction names now let's uh, do uh, our last library is just for fun so I'm I've already installed it using pip install anti gravity and I'm just going to because I've already installed it I'm just going to do import anti gravity and I run that and you see that um, like I said it's just for fun so it brings up the SKCD it's a geek type of uh, comic but very interesting and I just uh, wanted to share this with you so thank you for watching uh, uh, it, like I said uh, it's a very small video but just touches on some of the uh, interesting and useful Python libraries I would encourage you to explore on your own uh, Python has hundreds and hundreds of uh, libraries that um, are very useful and you can definitely find one that um, f you know fits your requirements so thank you for watching